After you wind your bobbin, if you'll notice, if you pull the bobbin directly up from the bobbin winder, it is actually the correct direction for it to come down into the bobbin case. Now, if you're just pulling this out of your drawer where you've already had wound bobbins, you need to make sure that the thread is coming off the spool counterclockwise or off the left side here. So it's gonna spin this way. Let me show you how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and take my thumb and push over on this little black button. That's gonna let the door come up. You can just drop the bobbin in. Do make sure you're always using the correct bobbins for this machine. This is not a place to mix and match from other brands that you might have had. So as it drops in, you're gonna notice that that bobbin will spin counterclockwise there. And then just take the thread, there's a little arrow here for a groove. And as you put it in there, if you get in the good habit of actually putting your finger on this bobbin and then pulling on this thread, you might actually hear a click. I heard it, but I don't know if you'll hear it, but it clicks. So the tension for the bobbin case is kind of right between my two fingers here. You have to get the thread in there. But if you just pull it around and then follow the little groove and arrows, because there's a little cutter down here, and all you have to do is pull to the right. It cuts the length of thread to the perfect length. You do not have to bring this bobbin thread up for you to uh, start sewing. So as soon as your needle's threaded, you can just start sewing and the bobbin thread will come up, replace the door, and you're ready to sew. When you go to take your bobbin out, you'll notice it does have a little bit of pull to it. That's okay, just give it a release and that will pull it back out. So just remember, the key is having their bobbin spinning the correct direction when you go to put it in the machine.